Hi, this is David here from cadsessions.com. In this short video, we're going to use the revolve command in Onshape to model a simple kitchen bowl. If you find this tutorial helpful, please thumbs up this video or subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. So here's a picture of the bowl that we're going to model. With the caliper, I already took the measurements that we need. It's two inches high. The top diameter is four inches and the bottom diameter is two inches and it has a thickness of 0.121 inches. So the revolve command is ideal for creating cylindrical parts and features. As with the extrude command that we used in the beginner tutorial series, we need to create a sketch on a plane before adding material. But instead of selecting a linear direction to extrude, we'll select an axis around which we'll revolve the sketch profile. Here are two examples. We have a sketch profile of our simple bowl and our designated revolve axis is here. And here's an animation of the profile being revolved around the central axis. And the end result is a revolved 3D object. Okay, let's do one more example, a pawn chess piece. We have a sketched profile and this vertical line is our chosen axis of revolution. As we revolve around the central axis, we end up with a 3D object. Pretty cool, huh? So back to our bowl. In a new part studio, first we'll create the sketch. Click here on the sketch button. In the sketch dialog, we need to select a plane that we'll be sketching on. We'll pick the front plane here. As usual, I'm going to hide these other planes for clarity by clicking on these eye icons in the feature tree. Okay, next I'll click on this front side of the view cube so we can be normal to the sketch plane. Okay, good. And so here is our origin. So let's start with a construction line. Select line, then click on this button to make it a construction line. We'll make it vertical. This is the same line or axis that we'll be revolving around. Since it's a construction line, it'll be used for sketching purposes, but will not be part of the sketched profile that gets revolved. Okay, we know that the height of the bowl is two inches, so let's set the height with the dimension tool. Next, let's draw the profile that we'll be revolving. Draw the bottom and then the angled side. Since we've already set the height of the bowl using the center line, we want the top of this angled side to be in line with it. We can do that by selecting both endpoints and adding a horizontal relation between them. Okay, we also know that the diameter at the bottom of the bowl is two inches. So from the center line, it will be half of that or one inch. Now, instead of entering a value of one, we can also say two inches divided by two and Onshape will automatically calculate the value. This is a really useful feature. We also know that the diameter at the top of the bowl is four inches. So similarly, we'll create a dimension from the center line to the edge and enter the diameter of four inches divided by two because we're dimensioning only to the center line and that will calculate to be two inches. Now, we could just finish up by drawing a couple more segments, but we'll do something else here that I think you'll find useful later on, especially when your sketches get more complicated. We're going to use the offset command. This will take whatever sketch segments you select and create an identical set of segments offset by a certain distance. And that's exactly what we need in our case. So select the two segments, then click the offset button. A preview of the new segments appears in blue with a distance dimension and this arrow, which is actually a manipulator. So I can drag it up and down like this and change the direction and to roughly set the offset amount. So I'll set it facing upward. To set the distance accurately, just double click on the value and enter 0.121. Now notice that our sketch is still an open contour, but for the revolve command to create a solid shape, we need a closed contour. And these two points are still blue, meaning they're unconstrained. Let's constrain them first, then close the contour. This point at the bottom, I'll just click to drag it out, then drag it back until the center line highlights and the coincident icon appears. Now I can release it and the point will become coincident with the center line. Now let's constrain the other point. I want it to be level with this other point, so I'll select both and press the horizontal button to set them in the same line. Now we can quickly close the contour. 
select the line button and draw a small segment here and a small segment here. Okay, great. Everything is colored black and our sketch is fully defined. That's what we want. Press the green check button to exit out of the sketch. We're ready to revolve. Click the revolve button. Make sure solid is selected since we're creating a solid and not a surface and that new is selected since we're creating a new solid. For the blue box, faces and sketch regions to revolve, select the closed area of our new sketch. Next, the blue input box below turns red because it needs our attention. Click on it to activate it. We need to select the revolve axis. We'll select the center line and we'll get a preview of what the part will look like. You can rotate the view to get a better look of what's going to happen. Click accept and we're done. Now, real quickly, what if we wanted to add a grip texture to the outside face of the bowl? Simply, I can go back to my sketch one in the feature tree, right click and select edit from the context menu. We'll select the front view, then zoom in with the mouse wheel. Next, I'll select the line button and draw some triangular ridges on this outside line. To save time, I won't fully define the sketch, but you always should do so. Accept the sketch with the green button. Notice that our new sketches have not been revolved. That's because we still need to tell the revolve feature to include the newly sketched profiles. So click on revolve one on the feature tree and select edit. Make sure you select edit and not edit sketch one. To add our new sketch regions, Notice that the first input box is already highlighted blue, so simply select the new regions to add them and click the green accept button. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.